Hello guys, welcome to another video tutorial of Ajax and in this video uh, we will gonna start doing uh, a little um, project or example um, with uh, using some Ajax uh, to request something um, to a PHP script okay and we also gonna use a MySQL uh, database okay so we will use JavaScript um, we will make also a little um, some inputs okay basically what I'm gonna do is a login system okay with a username and password and then um, we will request via Ajax to the PHP script that will process um, the username and password to see uh, if they if you are a registered user uh, and uh, if you are if the login and the username are correct then we will receive via Ajax as well um, the answer of um, or the result of the query to the MySQL database okay guys so pretty simple um, we will have to create a MySQL database uh, we will have to create a PHP script okay to process the username and password and we will have to create also uh, an HTML file with the login um, the login form okay and also the Ajax function so the first thing we have to create or I'm going to create is the HTML file so let's start and type HTML HTML and uh, head here head body close body and that's pretty much it let me save this save as and um, I'm gonna save this as uh, um, let me say test form dot html or test login okay so save that and uh, pay attention to one thing you have to save the files either the your php or this uh, html file in your htdocs okay um, because we will use to see if this works we will have to make a request to um, to the PHP file which is um, a server file okay so we have to use the XAMPP control uh, panel or the XAMPP um, virtual Apache server okay so to do that you already know uh, from our PHP um, tutorial series you have to put all the files inside htdocs okay um, so test login dot html save it perfect now inside the head uh, or let's go first of all let's create here in the body I'm going to create a table and border equals one and let's close table and in here I'm going to type tr and td now I'm going to type name and close table data open table data and now I'm going to type input type equals text name is going to be name and let's give it an ID of username and let's close that and close table data and close table row okay now what we can do is take all this and 
copy and paste it here and then instead of name let's change this to password here password the name is going to be password as well user password and that's it okay now in here let me push this a little bit to the top now down here I'm gonna type input type equals button value equals uh, login on click equals and let's type test oops test that's gonna be the name of the of our Ajax function and down here I'm gonna type I'm going to create a div id equals to results. This is where I'm going to um, echo out the result, okay? Whatever the answer is from the PHP file and div. Perfect. And you can put here, you can leave this uh, empty or I'm going to type just results result okay just to see where um, where the div is gonna be so let's check it out launch and Chrome and let me see okay perfect I'm just gonna push a little bit more down the login let's put here paragraph and here as well paragraph save it refresh it okay perfect so we have um, a login um, a login file but uh, if you if you look carefully we didn't uh, put it inside a form at all okay we don't need to use a form because um, we will get uh, directly um, from the through Ajax script okay uh, we will get directly the um, the ID of the name and password and then send those two values to the PHP script okay um, so we will not submit nothing at all using the submit button in a form we will just create a button here as we created here and the uh, on click is going to uh, call the function test in our uh, Ajax script here okay so that's all we need and um, let's start creating here the JavaScript so script type and here let's type text JavaScript And close script perfect okay now in here we can type function tests now um, I hope you remember uh, the code from the last video this is basically the same thing uh, that uh, I'm gonna type now okay so we'll create the XML HTTP variable that later will hold the object XML uh, HTTP request object and now as always we create a if statement to see if the user is using either Internet Explorer 5 or 6 or is using Firefox or Internet Explorer 7 so if window XML HTTP 
request. Do this, which is basically XML HTTP equals to new XML HTTP request object uh, else XML HTTP equals to new active X object and Microsoft dot XML HTTP okay and now we type uh, variable um, sorry now we type XML HTTP dot the event on ready state change is equal to function and ready state change is equal to the function that checks if the object has been sent or the request uh, HTTP XML HTTP ready state equals exactly to 4 okay which is the state um, the state that checks if the request has been sent and is ready to be um, being requested okay or process so if XML HTTP uh, dot ready state is equal to 4 do document get element by ID and let's grab the div where we will output the result which is ID result dot oops dot um, inner HTML is equal to XML HTTP uh, dot response text. Okay, guys, pay attention. Uh, pay a lot of attention to the capital letters. Okay, you see that um, JavaScript has a lot of properties and methods with um, uh, case sensitive. Okay, and you have to pay attention to that. So you see here, there's a capital letter. Otherwise, your code will not run at all. Okay. Um, so uh, now you have that, and in here, down here, we just have to type um, URL is equal to, and this is going to be a very useful thing that you will use um, with PHP files okay I'm just gonna show you that in a moment um, we are still missing the open method and of course the XML HTTP send method now inside as you remember inside open method we have to type uh, the method that we're going to use which is get and here we will type the URL, okay, that we will send to the PHP script. And here, uh, if we want an asynchronous uh, request, yes. So we type true, okay. Now, um, this URL is where we can. Uh, I told you before we can pass variables, okay, of parameters uh, with uh, this URL to our PHP script, okay. And I'm just going to do that uh, in a second. Before that, I have 
to uh, define some variables here to hold the values of name and password so uh, where is it here okay uh, variable you name is going to be equal to document get element uh, by ID and um, tap here username dot value okay uh, I'm running uh, out of time okay guys so I will continue in the next video okay see you guys